I'm going to finish up this uh, section on related rates with a baseball problem. So here we have a baseball diamond, which is a square, and its sides are 90 feet long. And so let's draw that right off the bat before we even know what we're asked, being asked. So here's my baseball square or diamond. And we're supposing a player was running from second base to third base at a speed of 30 feet per second, which just sounds incredibly fast, actually, but we'll just assume that's what it is, at the instant when he is 20 feet from third base. At what rate is the player's distance from home plate changing at that instant? All right, so let's get out some variables in here. So he's moving from second base to third base. So let's just say uh, this is him right here. So, again, in this situation, uh, the line between second base and third base has two parts, and both of those parts are changing as he moves. So let's call this part X, and we'll call, we'll call the distance from home plate uh, Y. All right, and so, uh, and, oh, and this side is 90, right? Because that's, that's just this, uh, this side of the, the diamond. So that's a constant. All right, so now what do we know? We know that, uh, let's see, his speed, right, he's running with a, at a speed of 30 feet per second. So we know that uh, dx dt, now be very careful here. In fact, I might even temporarily introduce another variable. If this is z, right, and he's running at 30 feet per second at that instant, that means that that side, z, that length z is changing, is increasing at 30 feet per second. So you could say dz dt equals 30, but that means that x, that 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 uh, distance being represented by x is decreasing at 30 feet per second at that instant. So his speed is causing that length to decrease. So we need to write it as negative 30 feet per second. All right, and so what do we want? We want the the rate uh, at which his distance from home plate is changing at that instant. So we want dy dt. Now at that instant means when he's 20 feet from third base, that means when x equals 20. All right, so we need our equation. So, it looks like we have a Pythagorean theorem situation here. We've got x squared plus y squared, uh, sorry, x squared plus 90 squared, y is the hypotenuse, plus 90 squared equals y squared. And now we need to take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. So we get 2x plus, uh, sorry, 2x d, dx dt. plus the derivative of 90 squares is, is 0 because that's a constant, equals 2y times dy dt. And now we substitute and solve. So uh, this is at the instant x's. Actually, you can divide 2 by bo on both sides right now. Let's do that first. Let's just get rid of those twos. So uh, when x is 20, we know dx dt is negative 30. And we do we know y at this instant? Well, yeah, because we know x at this instant. This is at the instant x is 20. So here's my triangle there. This is 90, and x is 20. So by the Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out y. 20 squared plus 90 squared gives me my y squared. And that's 8,500 8, is y squared. And so y is the square root of 8,500. And dy dt is what we want. So that means that dy dt 
is going to equal 20 times negative 30 is negative 600 divided by the square root of 8500 and that ends up being about negative 6.508 feet per second and so now we interpret So we'll say at this instant, the distance between the player, uh, the distance, or the, the rate at which the distance is decreasing, actually, let's, let's think about how we should word this. Let's say the distance between home plate and the player is decreasing at a rate of 6.508 feet per second.